dear students a very warm good morning to all of you so today we will move for the next point from the lesson motion and measurement of distance the name of that point is what how to measure the length of an object how to measure the length of an objects okay so let's see how to measure the exactly length of a different object so to measure the length of an object we require the scale okay so with the help of the any measuring tape or the with the help of the scale we can measure the length of an object okay so see here i have drawn one card okay or we can say that we i have drawn here one rectangle now we will measure the length of this card so to measure the length of an object we have to keep the scale in this way that the zero okay so the zero point of the length should be coincide to the left side okay coincide to the left side so see here i will keep the scale here on the left side i have kept the zero point exactly at the left point and to measure the length of an object we have to read the scale division from the right side okay to measure the length of that object we have to read the scale division coinciding to the right side okay and here the right side the reading is 77 okay 77 cm it means what the length of this of card or the length of this card is what 77 centimeter so in this way with the help of ruler with the help of the scale with the help of the measuring tape we can measure the length of an any object only the thing is that you have to keep in the mind the zero point of the scale should be on the left side and to the when we keep the zero point to the zero mark to the left side and the right side reading we have to read okay then only we will get the exactly length of an object okay so now let's again take the one more example we'll measure the length of this marker so here for now i have kept this marker like this with the scale the zero mark is to the left side and i have i will measure the length of this then it is the right side reading is what 14 it means what the length the length of an object of this marker is what 14 if you can see that the length of the marker is what 14 cm so see here base reading it means what right side reading and this upper side it means what left side reading we can see like this also okay so this is the left side reading and which reading we have to read we have to read the right side reading and that scale division that is only the length of an object okay so in this way we can measure the length of an object but while taking the reading we have to do or we have to follow certain types of the precautions so which precautions we have to follow whenever we are doing the measurement let see that is what precautions to be taken while using a scale first one is that we will discuss about how to place the scale okay so here just now i have used the scale we have to coincide or the zero mark should be on the left side and the next one the right side reading we have to take so this is the exactly position we have to keep like this we have to take the reading if you will take the reading like this then it is it will not gives us correct reading this is the wrong placement of the ruler or the wrong placement of the scale so we have to keep the scale like this we have to keep it on the object properly okay we have to keep the scale on the object properly okay so the scale should be placed with the object along its length okay so the scale should be kept on the object along its length okay so in this way it is the correct way to keep the scale and this is the wrong way to keep the scale okay so this is the first precaution is that we should place the scale properly next one there are the sir if sometime what happen there is one scale and its end is broken that is what worn out end if the one 
this is the scale I am having and this scale end is what worn out it is the broken scale with the help of this scale also we can measure the length now let's see how we can measure the length with the help of this broken scale so now let's discuss how to measure the length of an object with worn out ends. The zero reading of the scale we cannot see properly or the scale the beginning reading of the or the beginning mark of the scale is get broken. So is it possible to measure the length of the object with the help of this broken scale? Yes, with the help of this broken scale also we can measure the length of an object. So for that purpose what we have to do? So from any fixed point that any fixed point we have to keep on the left side of an object and then we have to read the right side reading and that left side reading we have to subtract from the right side reading now let's see practically how exactly we can measure the length with the help of a broken scale okay so see here from this scale the beginning marks are not there or the scale is broken from the middle so how we can measure the length from this so now what i will do this is the fixed point i will take he from 54 i can see the reading clearly so this 54 i will keep on the beginning position of this object okay and last at the right hand side i will take the reading so at the left side what is the fixed point we are having we are having the 54 and at the right side what is the reading we are having we are having 99 okay we are having here reading 99 so see here i will write at the left side we are having the fixed point as 54 okay 54 centimeter and at the right side what is the reading we are having we are having the 99 centimeter we are having reading 99 centimeter okay so how exactly we will find out the what is the length of this then for this what we have to do we have to subtract the final reading minus initial reading we can say that what final reading minus initial reading okay <coughs> so what is our final reading our final reading is 99 centimeter we will do subtraction 99 what is our initial reading 54 so we'll do the subtraction what is the answer for that 9 minus 4 it remains 5 9 minus 5 it remains 4 then what is the answer of this 45 centimeter so what is the length of this car that is what 45 centimeter okay so with the help of this worn out the worn out part of the scale or the worn out scale or the broken scale also we can measure the length of an object only what we have to do we have to take any fixed point from the scale that we have to keep on the left side then we have to read the reading from the right side and we have to do the subtraction from what final reading minus initial reading means the last reading minus beginning reading so in this way we will come to know what is the exactly length of an any object okay so these are the certain precautions that we have to follow and now the next one is that how to read the reading exactly that is what how to keep our eyes or the what is the exactly position of an eye so our eye position should be exactly on the point on which we are taking the reading okay so in the image you can see that how we have to read the reading from the scale okay our eyes must be focused exactly above the point at which we are taking measurement our eye should be focused exactly on the reading at which we are taking the measurement okay so these are the certain precautions if we will follow these precautions then easily we can take the exact or the accurate reading of an object so there is one activity that is activate activity number three that you have to perform at your house you have to measure the length of a certain object that is you have to measure the length of pen pencil and eraser you can take the help of your sibling also you also measure the length of your pen you tell your sibling also to measure the length of the 
plane a pen okay to measure the length of a pen and if there is any difference in the measurement then what is the exactly difference that you have to measure see i'll say one example i'll explain with the help of one example suppose i have measured the length of this marker it comes as what 14 if you will measure it and if it comes as what 13 then what is the difference between the measure that is 1 centimeter okay so in this way you have to complete the table number 10.2 now we will do one activity that is what activity number four how to measure the length of a curved line so let's discuss how to measure the length of a curved line so with the help of the scale okay it is difficult to measure the length of this curved line so we cannot take the curve but scale like this like this so how to measure the length of a curved line for that we will use one thread here i have taken one thread so let's see how to measure the length of a curved line by using thread okay for this what we need we require the one piece of thread so this one piece of the thread first i will make a one knot at the beginning okay at the beginning of the thread i will make one knot so this knot will act as a beginning point that is point a so this point a i will keep on this curved line and i will start to measure the line i will keep this thread along with this curved line slowly slowly okay and with the help of this thread i will go along with this curved line this activity you can also do at the home make a one curved line in your notebook and with the help of the thread you can measure the length of that curved line okay so here with the small small place i am measuring the length of that object okay along with the small small places with the small piece of the thread i am going through the curved line here and this is our last point okay so this much length of the thread now i will measure on the scale so let's see what is the reading for that okay so the last digit or the last point shown by the thread is what 91 okay 91 so this is the left side and this is the right side and the right side reading shows what reading scale is what 91 so the length of this scale is what length of this curve line is what 90 one centimeter okay so in this way we can measure the length of an curved object also with the help of a thread okay so this is all about today today we have discussed about how to measure the length of an object which precautions we should follow and also how we can measure the length of curved object or a curved line okay so this is the time to tell you goodbye here we will stop we will meet in the next video and for today thank you